What's up guys? I am Nafisa Sharma from the very cool 9XM and today we have with us a very pretty, awesomely talented, extremely creative and the one woman who understands more cricket than most in the country, Mandira Vedi. Hi Mandira. Hi Nafisa. Are you going to ask him, uh, be asking me cricket questions now? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So how did your love for saris start? I one day walked into a fabric store and bought a couple of fabrics and um, I went to a tailor and asked him to put something together. I had something in my mind and it turned out okay. And I wore them myself for over one Diwali and I got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of people would ask me, who are you wearing? And I was like, I designed this myself. And I think that's why my husband said, you know, we have an idea here, something, there is something here. I'm now standing in my own sari store. All right, so tell us something about your designs. I try to make saris that are that are um, that have a little amount of bling, but uh, but that are effective. So you guys got a lot of dope on Mandira and her label. Now I'm going to leave you with her, and she's going to take you to three spectacular looks this season. So this is one of my new saris that I've designed for the upcoming festive season. There's so many wonderful festivals where you want to dress up, want to wear traditional clothes. So these. Colours may not be the typical traditional reds, oranges, greens, pink, which is my favourite. But uh, the beauty of the sari is all about the borders. There are borders of four sizes and two types that um, cut across half of the skirt. This area is called the skirt and pleats. What you see when you stand away is lots of borders at the bottom and lots of borders on top. And of course I worn it with a, with a blouse which has sleeves because is for something traditional. If I actually wore it out, I would wear it with a big pair of earrings. Uh, nothing on the neck because there's already so much going on on the chest. So this is the look I put together for the festive season. It's got a lot of bling, it's got a lot of gold, but I still think it's subtle. Wait till you see what my next look is. So I think this sari is perfect for the red carpet because it's a really slinky fabric or a combination of two fabrics that flatter the form really well. It, it, it stays really close to the body, does not puff up or swell up at all. And um, uh, this is a Georgette satin and we have a shimmer chiffon, a flat chiffon, which it's uh, teamed up with. So this one is what we call the chessboard sari because if you look at the big rectangular uh, shape that the sari is, uh, it actually has gold, gold, blue and blue. And I think just the colour blocking gives it the feel of almost being like a gown. Uh, so I think it works very well for the red carpet. For a sari for the red carpet, my suggestion would be less is more. That's only in terms of the blouse. The blouse should be as minimal as possible with uh, as little fabric as possible, as little fabric as you can carry off. So uh, this one is um, not just a spaghetti strap blouse, it's a uh, there's lots going on at the back also. Or, or not going on at the back. So the third and final look is something that's um, a sari for a party, I think because the blouse is completely different. I mean, talk about a noodle strap, this only has one <laughs> noodle going across the chest. It's a single strap blouse and it works well for a party. You can, uh, works for a cocktail party, works for an evening out. Autumn inspired me to do something with leaves. So I've got this spray of leaves, um, applique gold fabric uh, going across, um, starting from there all the way to the end of the pallu. And of course, this one is my favorite color. So this I would wear with actually, because there's a lot going on in the sari itself, I would actually wear it with small earrings like this because I'd want the sari to stand out. Thank you so much Mandira for talking to us and giving us all that expert advice. So before we sign off at 9XM, we do the Nafisa pose. So are you ready? What is it? Show it to me. Okay, so you beast with both your hands and you pout. 